Then there are a variety of other drugs and other supplements that have some activity and not well defined. Um, the active ingredient in hot peppers, capsaicin, in the laboratory is highly toxic to prostate cancer. Uh, and in animal models, human prostate cancer is arrested by uh, the intake of what's equivalent to 68 habanero peppers a day for the human dose. And I thought, when I saw that, that, the, that this had no future. But there are people out there who can do that. Uh, in fact, there's a, an Indian pepper that's five or ten times more powerful than the habanero pepper, and I have a patient from Chicago who has two or three of them for breakfast. Uh, and anecdotally, and it does seem to work in a sub-portion of patients eating hot peppers. Not sure it's ready for prime time, but it's one of those tantalizing observations out there. It reminds me of a friend of mine in, in, at the FDA who said the solution to cancer exists and is on the spice shelf in your grocery store. Um, ginger has a series of chemicals in it that suppress prostate cancer in the test tube and in animals uh, at the dose of three and a half ounces of fresh, the human dose would be three and a half ounces of fresh ginger a day. I don't know whether you've ever tried fresh ginger, but that's a lot of ginger. But patients pick this up and do it. So I'm, I'm always in the situation of a patient calling me up, have you seen my PSA lately? Uh, yeah, it went down. Well, you want to know what I did? Uh, so probably the most dramatic example is a patient of mine who failed everything, including chemotherapy. And PSA was 800 something. And we had our goodbye talk, and he was lined up with hospice. About three months later, he called me and said, you probably want to see me and his PSA dropped below 500 on four ounces of ginger a day. Now, this is an anecdote, and he may be the only patient ever who responds, but uh, when you talk about toxicity versus benefit, cost versus benefit, if something like this panned out, uh, it would be wonderful. If you could identify the few patients who might respond to hot pepper or ginger, uh, it would be wonderful. Right now, I don't know what to tell a patient. Uh, are you going to benefit or not? Uh, but when there are no options left, I suppose this isn't a reasonable thing to try.